The first web browser was invented in 1990 by Tim Berners-Lee. It was called World Wide Web and was later renamed Nexus. In 1993, Mark Andreessen created a browser that was easy to use and install with the release of Mosaic. Andreessen's browser sparked the Internet boom of the 1990s. These are the two major milestones in the history of the web. 1980s to early 1990s, in 1984, expanding on ideas from futurist Ted Nelson, Neil Larson's commercial DOS makes Think Outline program added angle bracket hypertext jumps to and from ASCII, Batch, and other makes Think files up to 32 levels deep. In 1986 he released his DOS Houdini network browser program that supported 2500 topics cross-connected with 7500 links in each file along with hypertext links among unlimited numbers of external ASCII, batch, and other Houdini files. In 1987, these capabilities were included in his then-popular shareware DOS file browser programs Hyperres and PC Hypertext. These programs introduced many to the browser concept and 20 years later, Google still lists 3 million references to PC hypertext. In 1989, he created both HyperBBS and HyperLearn which both allow multiple users to create edit both topics and jumps for information and knowledge annealing which, in concept, the columnist John C. Dvorak says predated Wiki by many years. From 1987 on, he also created TransText and many utilities for rapidly building large-scale knowledge systems. And in 1989 helped produce for one of the big eight accounting firms a comprehensive knowledge system of integrating all accounting laws regulations into a CD-ROM containing 50,000 files with 200,000 hypertext jumps. Additionally, the link's development history notes their project origin was based on the browser concepts from Neil Larson and Makes Think. In 1989, he declined joining the Mosaic browser team with his preference for knowledge wisdom creation over distributing information. A problem he says is still not solved by today's Internet. Another early browser, Silversmith, was created by John Bottoms in 1987. The browser, based on SGML tags, used a tag set from the electronic document project of the AAP with minor modifications and was sold to a number of early adopters. At the time SGML was used exclusively for the formatting of printed documents. The use of SGML for electronically displayed documents signaled a shift in electronic publishing and was met with considerable resistance. Silversmith included an integrated indexer, full text searches, hypertext links between images text and sound using SGML tags and a return stack for use with hypertext links. It included features that are still not available in today's browsers. These include capabilities such as the ability to restrict searches within document structures, searches on index documents using wildcards and the ability to search on tag attribute values and attribute names. Starting in 1988, Peter Scott and L. Fogel expanded the earlier Hyperres concept in creating Hytelnet which added jumps to Telnet sites and which by 1990 offered users instant log-on and access to the online catalogs of over 5,000 libraries around the world. The strength of Hytelnet was speed and simplicity and link creation execution at the expense of a centralized worldwide source for adding, indexing, and modifying Telnet links. This problem was solved by the invention of the web server. A next computer was used by Tim Berners-Lee as the world's first web server, and also an early web browser, World Wide Web in 1990. Berners-Lee introduced it to colleagues at CERN in March 1991. Since then the development of web browsers has been inseparably intertwined with the development of the web itself. In April 1990, a draft patent application for a mass-market consumer device for browsing pages via links page link was proposed by Craig Coburn at Digital Equipment Company Limited whilst working in their networking and communications division in Reading. England. This application for a keyboardless touchscreen browser for consumers also makes reference to navigating and searching text, and bookmarks was aimed at replacing books, storing a shopping list have an updated personalized newspaper updated round the clock, dynamically updated maps for use in a car, and suggest such a device could have a profound effect on the advertising industry. The patent was canned by digital as too futuristic and 
being largely hardware-based, had obstacles to market that purely software-driven approaches did not suffer from. Early 1990s, WWW Browsers. In 1992, Tony Johnson released the Midas WWW Browser. Based on Motif X, Midas WWW allowed viewing of PostScript files on the web from Unix and VMS, and even handled compressed PostScript. Another early popular web browser was Viola WWW, which was modeled after HyperCard. Thomas R. Bruce of the Legal Information Institute at Cornell Law School started 1992 to develop Cello and released on June 8, 1993 the first web browser which was working on Windows 3.1, NT 3.5, and OS 2. However, the explosion in popularity of the web was triggered by NCSA Mosaic which was a graphical browser running originally on Unix and soon ported to the Amiga and VMS platforms and later the Apple Macintosh and Microsoft Windows platforms. Version 1.0 was released in September 1993, and was dubbed the killer application of the Internet. It was the first web browser to display images in line with the document's text. Prior browsers would display an icon that, when clicked, would download and open the graphic file in a helper application. This was an intentional design decision on both parts, as the graphics support in early browsers was intended for displaying charts and graphs associated with technical papers while the user scrolled to read the text, while Mosaic was trying to bring multimedia content to non-technical users. Mark Andreessen, who was the leader of the Mosaic team at NCSA, quit to form a company that would later be known as Netscape Communications Corporation. Netscape released its flagship Navigator product in October 1994, and it took off the next year. IBM presented its own web explorer with OS 2 Warp in 1994. UDIWWW was the first web browser that was able to handle all HTML3 features with the Math Tags release 1995. Following the release of version 1.2 in April 1996, Richter ceased development, stating let Microsoft with the ActiveX development kit do the rest. Microsoft which had thus far not marketed a browser, finally entered the fray with its Internet Explorer product, purchased from Spyglass, Inc. This began what is known as the Browser Wars in which Microsoft and Netscape competed for the web browser market. The wars put the web in the hands of millions of ordinary PC users, but showed how commercialization of the web could stymie standards efforts. Both Microsoft and Netscape liberally incorporated proprietary extensions to HTML in their products, and tried to gain an edge by product differentiation, leading to the acceptance of the cascading style sheets proposed by Haiyan Kum Wim Lai over Netscape's JavaScript style sheets by W3C. Late 1990s, Microsoft vs. Netscape, in 1996, Netscape's share of the browser market reached 86% but then Microsoft began integrating its browser with its operating system and bundling deals with OEMs, and within two years the balance had reversed. Although Microsoft has since faced antitrust litigation on these charges, the browser wars effectively ended once it was clear that Netscape's declining market share trend was irreversible. Prior to the release of Mac OS X, Internet Explorer for Mac and Netscape were also the primary browsers in use on the Macintosh platform. Unable to continue commercially funding their product's development, Netscape responded by open-sourcing its product, creating Mozilla. This helped the browser maintain its technical edge over Internet Explorer, but did not slow Netscape's declining market share. Netscape was purchased by America Online in late 1998. 2000s, at first, the Mozilla project struggled to attract developers but by 2002 it had evolved into a relatively stable and powerful Internet suite. Mozilla 1.0 was released to mark this milestone. Also in 2002, a spin-off project that would eventually become the popular Firefox was released. Firefox was always downloadable for free from the start, as was its predecessor, the Mozilla browser. Firefox's business model, unlike the business model of 1990s Netscape, primarily consists of doing deals with search engines such as Google to direct users towards them, see web browser business models. In 2003, 
Microsoft announced that Internet Explorer would no longer be made available as a separate product but would be part of the evolution of its Windows platform, and that no more releases for the Macintosh would be made. AOL announced that it would retire support and development of the Netscape web browser in February 2008. In the second half of 2004 Internet Explorer reached a peak market share of more than 92%. Since then, its market share has been slowly but steadily declining and is around 11.8% as of July 2013. In early 2005, Microsoft reversed its decision to release Internet Explorer as part of Windows, announcing that a standalone version of Internet Explorer was under development. Internet Explorer 7 was released for Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, and Windows Vista in October 2006. Internet Explorer 8 was released on March 19, 2009 for Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2008, and Windows 7. Apple Safari, the default browser on Mac OS X from version 10.3 onwards, has grown to dominate browsing on Mac OS X browsers such as Firefox, Camino, Google Chrome, and OmniWeb are alternative browsers for Mac systems. OmniWeb and Google Chrome, like Safari, use the WebKit HTML rendering engine, which is packaged by Apple as a framework for use by third-party applications. In August 2007, Apple also ported Safari for use on the Windows XP and Vista operating systems. Opera was first released in 1996. It is a popular choice in handheld devices, particularly mobile phones, but remains a niche player in the PC web browser market. It is also available on Nintendo's DS, DS Lite and Wii consoles. The Opera Mini browser uses the Presto layout engine like all versions of Opera, but runs on most phones supporting Java midlets. The Lynx browser remains popular for Unix shell users and with vision-impaired users due to its entirely text-based nature. There are also several text-mode browsers with advanced features, such as W3M, Lynx, and the Lynx forks such as a Lynx. Relationships of browsers A number of web browsers have been derived and branched from source code of earlier versions and products. See also, History of the Internet, Timeline of Web Browsers, References. External links. Avolt.org Euro Browser Archive.